And President Trump's first cabinet meeting of 2019 focused on the need for a border wall. The funding of such a wall is a sticking point, keeping the government from ending the current partial shutdown. Natasha Chen shows us what was said in a room full of new faces and key roles. President Trump's first cabinet meeting of the year was convened around a table with a centerpiece, a Game of Thrones related image with the words sanctions are coming. He had tweeted this image in November about Iran's sanctions, but sat today in front of a printed version. Iran is a much different country than it was when I became president. But the dominant topic of the meeting was about the border wall. When asked whether he would accept any less than his $5 billion demand in order to reopen the government. Well, I'd rather not say it. Uh, could we do it for a little bit less? It's so insignificant compared to what we're talking about. And on how very, long very the shutdown high. would last? Could be a long time and it could be quickly. Depending on how the border security debate shakes out. The issue was also mentioned by many of his cabinet members, including Energy Secretary Rick Perry, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, and Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker, one of the new faces in this meeting. He's the Acting Attorney General until the Senate goes through a confirmation process for the nominated AG William Barr. Other people in acting roles are David Bernhardt in for Ryan Zinke and Patrick Shanahan in for James Mattis. The threat is real. Uh, the risks are real. We need to control our borders. Mick Mulvaney is still the budget director, but is now also acting chief of staff with John Kelly leaving. A permanent replacement has not yet been named and is not a position that requires Senate confirmation. In Washington, I'm Natasha Chen reporting. The president also called a meeting with eight top leaders from the House and Senate today before the new Congress starts tomorrow.